So, hi, Johan. Welcome to Bandbond. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, you're not here as a member of Evergrey this time, but a member of uh, Hollingshead, which is kind of an all-star band. Tell us about how the band came about, please. Uh, well, I was on tour uh, with Tiamat, actually, um, in Russia, um, Belarus, and Ukraine, as their live guitar player. And uh, on that tour, we had uh, Carl Vestholm playing uh, keyboards. And we got talking uh, about music in general. And I think it was, we were sitting in the van to or from a gig, Mike and the Mechanics came on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and we were like, oh yeah, Mike and the Mechanics, yeah. And I said, I love Genesis. Like, you like Genesis? So we got to talking about, uh, you know, all these 70s prog bands that we we both uh, share a love for, you know, like, yeah, Genesis, yes, um, King Crimson, Emerson, like, and Palmer, you know, all that stuff. So, and he said that he had some songs, and would I be interested in maybe, you know, starting a band with him? Said, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> and so, uh, I didn't really think much of it until he, he said, I, I have a drummer. And it's uh, Fredrik Hake. Like, All righty. That is so cool. So uh, we got together. And, well, he sent some songs, which I learned. And then, uh, you know, we got together and, and played just as a, as a trio. And uh, the, the original idea was to have a, a singing guitar player. Or, a, you know, yeah, a singer who can play guitar. Um, but we never really found one, and uh, it sounded so good in the rehearsal room with just bass, drums, and uh, organ, because it, it, it's a lot of uh, Hammond organ and uh, you know uh, mellotrons and moogs and stuff, and it sounded so good with just the three of us that we we kind of ditched the idea of trying to find a guitar player. I think the band name Holling Said really, you know, stands out. What does it originate from? I'm a huge fan of a movie called The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love yeah, it. But the old one with Danny Kay. Oh, I didn't from... know there was an old one. Uh, and it has uh, Boris Karloff in it as Dr. Hugo Hollingshead. Ah. And he's a, a psychologist or something like that. He, he's uh, he's one of the bad guys. So I've always liked that Dr. Hugo Holmings had. So yeah. I thought, yeah, that's a, that's a good name. Uh, so you're about to release uh, the Hollings had uh, debut album, Stay Dead, on December 4th. Yes. So what, what can you tell us about the recording? Frederick recorded the drums in his uh, rehearsal room. And I tracked the bass in Dr. Carl's uh, apartment. And uh, he did the, the keyboards at his place as well. So. Is it Carl who does most of the songwriting? So far, yes. Uh, he, he wrote all the material, I think, more or less. But we, we arranged them together. And uh, we've actually started writing new material. But, um, uh, you know, Frederick has some ideas. Uh, I have some ideas. And, you know. Yeah, we'll see. But uh, on this first record, I, Carl has written most of it. Uh, I've had the luxury to get a you know a preview listen of the album. Mm -hmm. and, uh, to describe your sound, I, I thought of you know if Tiamat and the Cult met at their you know a progressive psychedelic late sixties party, uh, Holling said it could be you know the the spawn <laughs> of that meeting there at that party. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. In the press release, you say that Holling said unlocks the door uh, with the key of imagination, the door to another dimension, a dimension of melodious and mind-bending music combined with darkness, light, and old mysticism. And I got curious about that mysticism part. Do you find that intriguing, or not me specifically? Uh, but our singer uh, Gidon Tannenbaum, who wrote uh, some of the lyrics, uh, he is. He's into that for sure. Uh, what's so great about playing progressive music? You mentioned that you you love it, listen to it, but what's so great about playing it? It's wide open. 
you know, it's you. You can do pretty much anything. There, there aren't any any rules really. So that that's that's something I really really like. Do you find it challenging also as a musician? Yeah, since it's so you know open and free, you can do whatever you want. You know, having too many options is kind of difficult. You know, but uh, especially when you play with people who are. You know, very talented and very creative. You know, you have to find parts that uh, is equal to their parts, so to speak. So, uh, what are your plans for Hollingshead now? The release is obviously number one. Um, just to see, and then see how how it gets received. If people like it or if people hate it. An acquired taste. <laughs> Acquired tastes people might not ever acquire, uh, which is fine, you know. They, you know. Uh, but if you like it, um, I, I think obviously we would like to um, um, do some playing live shows. But you know, with all that's going on now, uh, you know, who knows when that'll be. So thank you very much, Johan, and good luck with the new album from Hollingshead, Stay Dead, out December 4th on GMR Music Group. Cheers, buddy. Thank you very much.